Hello, here, here we're going to talk about the appearance, which is managing your theme uh, with your website. It's quite simple. Any theme that you've installed uh, will appear here. So we'll click on uh, appearance and themes, and we'll go through all these different areas here, okay? So when, when you install WordPress, this is the theme you get. You get two other themes. This is easily the best one of the basic ones. Um, but basically with the themes is... You can add a new theme and install it directly if you buy it from Theme Forest or, or someone like that. But when you're purchasing a theme, always be aware and try to look for where the theme is and look to see if it's being regularly updated. If it's not being regularly updated, you're going to have a nightmare. Okay. The second and most important thing is if you're going to hire a developer, that with any, with any adjustments or customizations they make to a theme, they set up what is basically called a child theme you have child themes is is it means that whenever um, you're basically creating a, a child of the parent theme and that's where you do all your customizations okay WordPress has a great uh, tutorial on how to create a child theme if you want to try it yourself okay um, and there's plenty of resources there for using a child theme now the main reason is is that nearly all good themes get updated on a regular basis so there's new features added to it, or there's bug fixes and things like that. If you customize, if you customize the main theme, which is the number one problem I have when clients come to me, what happens is, is when there's an update and you update that theme, it overwrites everything that you've customized. By creating a child theme, all your customizations sit within that folder in the child theme. And, and so when you upgrade the main theme, it doesn't do anything. It, it doesn't affect the child theme. Okay, and all your customizations remain intact. You might have to make some adjustments if it, if it, ruin, if it screws up part of your, your, uh, of your website, but that's a very small price to pay, and if it's done correctly, it shouldn't, but it's a small price to pay than having overwritten all of the work that's already been done. Okay, so if you're hiring a developer or you're doing it yourself and you're making customizations to this theme or any other theme, Always, 100% guaranteed, always create a child theme and get it and instruct your developer to make sure that they do the same thing. The other reason for that is if you fire your developer, you know there's a world of WordPress developers out there. If you fire your developer and you get a new developer, you can say, hey, here's the theme we're using and, and all the customizations for that theme are in, in, the, in the theme's child. And then that's that the new developer only has to look in the child theme for any customizations or errors and things like that. They don't have to look through all the files in the main theme. Another advantage. Okay, so with all themes, sometimes they create its own little. Uh, if it's if it's a a, 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 a pro theme, it, it maybe it creates some extra features here uh, and stuff like that. But with the basic stuff, you have the customizations here built within the theme. Okay, so you can actually do. You can change colors and things like that here, and that's where you do all your customizations. Okay. However, um, every theme has a different way of doing things. So you've, you've got to, you know, I'm just basically talking about the basics here. But let's have a look at some some uh, in, some basic information. Okay. So within each theme, usually usually there's a there's a, a, a widget area. Okay. And so this is the primary sidebar: search, recent posts, and all that sort of stuff. Okay, and you'll see here the search box, the recent posts, and all that sort of stuff there. Okay, so basically you can you can move that around to put the recent posts under comments, and then you refresh the page. Uh, I've got I've got the case turned on here, so I'm just going to turn off the case for a second. Um, if you've got caching turned on, it'll it'll take a little while before that does. But I'll just turn the caching off. But you update the the thing, you'll see that that moves from the top to the bottom, okay? So you can manage, the, which this is called a sidebar and this is the main content here. You can manage what appears in the sidebar. And you can do a, a range of other things too um, with your widgets. You can, um, you, can, uh, um, you can create your own widgets with a text, you know? Like for instance, if you wanted to put a face, all your Facebook page in there, you can put that code in there, in that area there. Um, you can do a range of different things, okay? So um, I can add a tag, tag cloud to it and call it tags. And then, then you, you refresh the page and you'll see the tags will appear there, okay? There's the different tags. So 
you'll find that you'll find with any themes that you purchase, there'll be a whole there might be a whole heap of other options here as well, and you can use them. You just got to read a little bit about them. So that's how you customize a theme. I'll get the the header and stuff like that. You can customize as well, change the colors and put a, an image up there and all that. Always be aware of what they give you instructions for, how big those things are. And you can there's plenty of software out there. There's Pixel Pixel R and and there's uh, Photoshop and all that that you can create those in. Okay, and then you've got the background. So you'll find with every theme, there's a whole heap of customizations you can do. Okay, I would never use this editor, never in a million years, because that's the, the, the main thing. But you can use it for the child theme, but not for the main. You're just going to run into trouble. Okay, all right, so basically that's the themes and, and the editor. Um, the next, the next uh, video will we'll talk all about the menus um, and the menu system used in WordPress. Okay, thank you.